New here at 10 o'clock. A Miami couple is in a race against time to adopt their twin nieces after tragedy struck their family. The night team's Heather Walker investigates this complicated and expensive fight for the family. Joanne and Rafael Alvarez knew they wanted children, but it has been a struggle. I've gone for like multiple surgeries, been put on medication, um, just various things, you know, and it's just not working right now. They also tried adopting, but eventually decided to give up on their dream of having a family until they got a late night phone call from Joanne's home country of South Africa. In February, and it was around like 3 a.m. So I picked up and she's like, oh, your brother, um, his wife just died, my sister-in-law, and um, she left behind two baby girls and they twins. And I was like, I was like, what? Joanne discovered she had two week old twin nieces, Geraldine and Bianca. They were in foster care because her brother was not able to care for them. But Joanne and Raphael knew they could. I've always wanted to be a father to girls. That's always been my dream, to have a little girl. The couple decided to file for custody of the twins, but they discovered getting the babies to South Florida would be difficult. So now what makes it challenging is that we're fighting this other family to keep my, my nieces and my family. Joanne tells Seven Investigates her brother surrendered the girls into foster care after his wife died. Now that the babies are living with a foster family, he can't sign over custody to her. So unfortunately, we have to go through the exact same process for an international adoption. And that process is not easy or cheap. It can range anywhere between forty and $60,000. Holtz International Adoption Agency agreed to help the Alvarezes, but the family court in South Africa set a tight deadline. They told us like, okay, well you have until May to get all your ducks in a row. That's when panic set in. At the custody hearing, the court will rule whether the twins can come to South Florida to live or permanently stay with their foster family. It's a sad situation, but um, we just just got to keep going at this point. But at the end of the day, this is my family, and I don't want my family to be, you know, just ripped apart. Joanne hopes a judge will let her have the girls so that they can be raised by family. Heather Walker, 7 News. Joanne and Raphael have set up a GoFundMe to help raise the money for adoption. You can find a link on our website, WSVN.com.